Item number SCP-3067 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Active Containment of SCP-3067 which involved an information suppression scheme and a satellite-based electromagnetic intercepting system has been postponed. Should SCP-3067 return, these systems are to be re-implemented immediately, excluding that of Week 5. Audio tracks from SCP-3067 are stored physically in Room 12 at Site-40. Access is denied to Level 1 personnel and below. Description SCP-3067 is an ovoid extraterrestrial object, 16 meters in length, that orbited Earth for five weeks. SCP-3067 materialized on beep, 20 beep, and directed a series of very high-frequency electromagnetic waves towards Earth until its disappearance on beep, 20 beep. These were transmitted once per week and could be detected by all FM receivers enclosed in SCP-3067's radio horizon. Transmissions sourced by SCP-3067 covered all known carrier frequencies and overrode others by unknown means, making its contents receivable across all tunings, and the only content available unless intercepted by Foundation satellites. Objects entering a field of 2 meters around SCP-3067 were destroyed by an unknown force, which negated Foundation efforts to contain it on Earth. Attempts to establish remote communications with SCP-3067 were unsuccessful, as no response was received. Five audio tracks from SCP-3067 were received, some of which exhibited anomalous effects. SCP-3067 had been thought not to bear any relation to humanity until week two, in which an audibly recognizable version of a deal's 2008 Make You Feel My Love, albeit subject to major alterations, was transmitted. This prompted a thorough investigation into the origin of SCP-3067, which was unsuccessful. Per transmission, FM receivers with official interface were able to display a short message from SCP-3067 in English. The message was invariable and is as follows. Dimension realm raised by teleporting sonic spectacle presence. Strictly speaking between realm, registration deemed illegal, keeping moving. What no between realm enforcers on my tail? Goodbye soon, sorry. Hope to improve Earth music preference, since at the moment a bit crap, but it's okay. This message was followed by individual lines of text and or symbols relative to the transmission received in that week. Details of individual transmissions are listed below. Week 1. Date. Beep. Tony Beep. Receive text. EJ EJ. Description of audio content. 9 minutes, 55 seconds. A recording of a gravelly, unintelligible voice speaking in unknown language. Repeated listens verify the presence of rhythm and rhyme within the track. The voice featured in the track demonstrated incredible vocal and linguistic capability. At least 500 different variations on the same rhyme were featured. Observed anomalous effects. Not applicable. Week 2. Date. Beep. Tony Beep. Received text. A deal. Make you feel my love. UFAB55 remix. Description of audio content. 4 minutes, 30 seconds. Audio consisted of the vocal a cappella track of Make You Feel My Love played against a series of reverberated guttural sounds. When played back, it is difficult to determine whether these sounds are synthesized or organic. It is currently unknown as to how the isolated vocal track from the original ideal song was obtained. Observed anomalous effects, not applicable. Week 3. Date, 20 beep. Receive text. <laughs> Description of audio content. 66 minutes, 42 seconds. 
a series of tones, each lasting no longer than six milliseconds, ranging in frequency between 1,000 to 20,000 hertz. Observed anomalous effects on first listen, or subjects having the track compulsively exclaimed in a known term, Doma Hanado! This effect was even observed in an otherwise mute individual. It is one of the few phrases this subject has ever been known to say. When asked what the term meant, affected individuals responded there was an expression of endearment towards the track, but when further pressed, could not identify how they came upon the knowledge. The effect appeared to have been singular. Repeated listens did not produce the same anomalous effect. Week 4. Beep. 20 beep. Receive text. A iOS when click beep. Fine, it's an Ikea Orchestra. Symphony Human Appeal. Description of audio content. 26 minutes, 3 seconds. An apparently live recording of a long, complex piece of music in several movements consisted mostly of short, muted percussion sound and long, sustained, high-pitched voices singing in unison. These voices sang phrases in several different languages, both known and unidentified, including English, Spanish, and Mandarin. Of the terrestrial languages sung, phrases translated to I love you, baby I love you, you'll always be mine, I'm coming home, and never let you go. Observed anomalous effect. Not applicable. It is of note that some subjects reported a finding of comfort and satisfaction upon hearing this recording. Although whether this effect was anomalous remains inconclusive. Week 5. Date. Beep. 20 beep. Receive text. Whoop, whoop. Number hit song ever. Description of audio content. 3 minutes, 36 seconds. Due to its anomalous effect, this description is limited to what was provided by those exposed to it. A repeated metallic kick and snare pattern at 126 beats per minute. Observed anomalous effects. Despite its unremarkable nature, those listening to this audio track had a 100% chance of sharing it with the nearest person unless hindered fire amnestic administration or neutralization. Subjects replayed it to others by whatever means necessary. Methods of sharing included, but were not limited to, making recordings using external devices, ripping techniques, dissemination via social media on the internet. The effect even applied to subjects who had only heard very small sections of the track, including the moments of silence between the drum hits. Prior to the enactment of a mass amnestic administration and information suppression procedure known as protocol redacted, modern day ease of digital file sharing meant that the memetic effect had spread to approximately big people globally two days after initial broadcast, which included members of the general public. This event is considered to be one of the worst information breaches ever sustained by the Foundation, and in the final weeks prior to its disappearance, prompted the immediate promotion of SCP-3067 to Keter status. Addendum! New official information from the redacted satellite, which was presented in the same approximate location as SCP-3067 at the time of its disappearance, has been confiscated. The disappearance of SCP-3067 was captured in a minute-long video by this satellite. Details are as follows. At 46 seconds, SCP-3067 emits a flash of light before disappearing. Several seconds later, at 51 seconds, an ordinary arrangement of five light-emitting objects of unknown size, now designated SCP-3067-A, appears spontaneously. These objects are flashing and move frantically around the area of space that SCP-3067 occupied. At 54 seconds, the objects comprising SCP-3067-A each emit a divergent beam of light which appear to scan the surrounding area. Then, at 58 seconds, SCP-3067-A dematerializes in a similar fashion to SCP-3067. 
like SCP-3067, the origin of SCP-3067-A is unknown.